Hey YouTube, it's Charisma and I have another product review for you. This is not a paid sponsorship, just my own opinions on this product right here. It is the Apogee Keratin and Green Tea Reconstructor. Yes, I decided to try this product because um, one of the stores that I pass by all the time, beauty supply stores, was going out of business and all of their products were on um, you know clearance so this is one of the ones that were and I I love Apogee I've tried their two minute reconstructor I think that's the only one I've tried but it has done wonders for my hair in the past when I have used it so and I've always heard good things about Apogee so I decided to try this green tea reconstructor in the last few months I've really been paying close attention to my hair and its needs and just um what I feel that I need to do to bring my hair to the next level. Um, I already know that my hair is highly porous. I have porous hair and I'm going to do a separate video on hair porosity. But basically highly porous hair means that your hair strands, the shaft of your hair um, has like gaps in it, holes kind of. And um, you can fill in those gaps with like protein or products or whatever to make your hair stronger. So this is just my own opinion, but I would say like if you're a type of person who notice your hair is kind of limp, especially for some of you naturals who notice other people's hair is always so full, it has this body, um, and it's not so much as their hair is thick, because sometimes your hair could be thin but still have body, and it could be thick and still be kind of limp, if you know what I'm saying. like. Some of you naturals, if you notice, like some naturals might press their hair, like they flat iron it or blow dry it, and it is just so limp, like it's light, it won't have weight to it to like move around. It's just like feathery light. I'm kind of putting two and two together and guessing that maybe you need more protein in your hair. That's if your hair is not damaged, but that's a whole nother. I don't want to ramble on into a whole nother thing, but if you notice that your hair feels weak, it's limp, maybe it's getting enough moisture, but it's not strong, you might want to look into your hair porosity as well as if you are giving your hair enough protein. I noticed for myself that being that I um, dance a lot and my hair is always giving moisture, either if I sweat in it or whatever, that it just still was lacking strength and I noticed that my hair would grow to a certain length, like about 13 inches and then it just was not passing that length and I'm like, and it's not breaking off, I don't know, I just feel like I was just doing research and trying to find out and pinpoint, you know, what could be some of the weak points in my hair regimen. I know that my hair is highly porous. I didn't do the, the porosity test or anything like that. I just know that my hair soaks up a lot of moisture. So that's how you can know too. It's like you put a lot of water in your hair and it just soaks it up. However, like moisture will stay in your hair because it's just highly porous. It has the holes in it so it's going to soak it all up but it's not going to hold on to it. So I started experimenting with using heavier products, using more products like layering products and stuff like that and I have noticed a big difference in my hair especially like after I wash it and I do the LOC lock method, leave-in oil and conditioner. That has been helping my hair to get that protein and moisture balance that it needs. So how I use this product is that I noticed some naturals on YouTube said that they would use it after they um, wash their hair. Like some naturals, I think I saw Juliana um, Jujube and she said since she washes her hair like three times a week or something like that, that it's getting a lot of moisture so she wants to make sure that it has protein. So she would spray this on her hair after each wash. So I said, okay, maybe I need to try that because I noticed I get enough moisture too, but maybe I'm not getting enough protein, but I don't want protein overload to make my hair hard. So I said, let me test that theory out. So when I washed my hair, and put this in it, I noticed that my hair on contact, it feels stronger. Like this to me, when I spray it on wet hair, it has um, an astringent 
texture. That's how I feel like when I touch my hair after using it. It's astringent like, but it feels hard. Like not hard hard, but it feels stronger. So then after I would do put that on, then I would put on my leave-in, then my oil, and then my cream. And I've been doing that, I think, for about, I would say, a month and a half or so. And I've noticed the difference in my strands. Like, my hair feels fuller, stronger, more lustrous. Like, when it shrinks up, it just has a nice look to it. That's why I wear my hair in puffs all the time. Because I just love, you know, how my hair is looking and feeling. And I'm noticing I'm retaining length now. Quicker than I was before. So another way that you can also use this is as a heat protectant as if you're styling your hair. Um, I used it to blow dry my hair as my heat protectant. I sprayed it on and I blew out my hair. The heat is supposed to help your hair, um, let's see, absorb it. It says, let's see, after shampooing, spray liberally onto towel dry hair. Comb hair gently with a wide tooth comb. Style as usual. Body or styling heat locks in the treatment. So that's how I figured, okay, I could use it when I am blow drying and it'll lock in that treatment. So I would definitely recommend this if you feel like you need some more strength to your hair but you don't want too much protein in your hair because too much protein is going to make your hair hard. You want to have a protein and moisture balance. If you guys want me to talk about that in a separate video, just let me know. I'm just trying to stay focused on Aphigy, if I like it, and how it's worked for me. But um, I would definitely recommend you giving this a try because it's a way to just like give your hair a protein boost, but not too much. And over time, you'll start to see results. Um, yeah. So to recap, I would say um, I use this as um, in my lock method as well. After I wash my hair, I just spray it on. And I've been washing my hair about once a week, I would say. And then there were times where I would wash it like three times a week when I was like feeling, because it's hot right now in New York City, it's summer. So like, I don't know, I just felt like to co-wash or whatever and I would spray it on. And um, I've definitely noticed a very big difference, especially in my crown area where I had issues. It's definitely helping to strengthen my crown area and my hair as a whole. So I would definitely recommend this if you feel like you have highly porous hair and you're looking for products to strengthen your strands and fill in those gaps. Um, if you have weak, limp hair, I would recommend don't OD on it just use it every time you wash your hair or whatever and or if you blow dry or heat style and you know but um yeah i would recommend this so if you guys have any questions just put it in the description um also visit my website etsy.com slash shop slash charisma for you i make hair accessories and satin bonnets that hold in the moisture for your hair they're reversible, they come in regular, oversized, oversized plus. Like what I have on now. It can be used as a headband, a sleep cap, something to wear like a pineapple. You guys have seen my videos, scroll through, you'll see all my tutorials and stuff on my satin bonnets and other hair accessories. I also made this dress that I have on that matches this and I have a tutorial on it so I'll put all the links in the description box if you want to look at my fashion channel to see all just fashion videos it's charisma for you fashion um and I think that's about it stay tuned for the other videos that I will be doing on the new products that I've been using and I've been liking but overall I love this product I recommend this product I would say try it out and yeah thank you for watching bye